What's up, guys? If you follow Disney gossip at all, you're very likely to have heard about our first couple. These Disney Channel actors regularly share cute photos and declare their love over social media. Thomas Doherty and Dove Cameron have met for the first time on the set of Descendants 2. Dove was already a Disney Channel star after playing the title role in Liv and Maddie. And Thomas was in the English Disney series, The Lodge. Well, well, well. Hi, Harry. After their first scenes together, there was so much chemistry that the director, Kenny Ortega, was considering cutting it off in order not to confuse the audience. Finally, they all decided to add a backstory about Mal and Harry's former relationship to the script. Did you spot the enchantment in the hook scene? Because the cast and the crew did, as Dove told Seventeen Magazine, people were like, when you guys walk into a room together, it's insane. And she continued to say, he told me he loved me within a week of meeting me and has never taken a step back from that statement. <laughs> And two weeks after meeting on set, they ended up getting matching tattoos. That's love goals, guys, right there. Yeah, so then Sophie, I'm sorry. Milo Mannheim and Meg Donnelly. The two met on the set of the Disney Channel original movie, Zombies, and they felt an immediate connection. Milo said that Meg was the happiest person he had ever met and that she was like a character out of a movie because she's always smiling. <laughs> they also both shared a love for Disney's musicals, especially the High School Musical, which was Milo's childhood obsession. Acting. As reported, they dated from July 2017 to January 2018. We don't know what happened or how strong the relationship was really, but they were undoubtedly a fun duo to be with. Nowadays, although fans are shipping them hard, they're just BFFs. What? The good news for the fans is that the Disney Channel has officially given Zombies 2 the green light. Hopefully, we will see more of them together soon. Awesome. Spencer Boldman and Kelly Berglund. These two met for the first time on the set of the TV show Lab Rats, where they played siblings with bionic superpowers. Before that, they both appeared in Disney Channel original movies, Spencer in Zapped and Kelly and how to build a better boy. Even though their characters on the show could never be a couple, the fans were shipping them a lot. We understand that, as they were super cute together. <laughs> In real life, they dated shortly from November 2012 to August 2013. And it seems like there wasn't any drama behind their split. They both found new partners and continued working together on the show. Oh yeah! Woo! <laughs> These days, Spencer and Kelly are still close friends, and they support each other at various events and premieres. Kind of a happy ending after all. Zac Efron and Vanessa Hudgens. Their ship name was called Zanessa, and they were probably the most loved Disney couple in history. The two met on the set of the musical film High School Musical in 2010. They landed the lead roles as Troy Bolton and Gabriella Montez two different teenagers who go out of their comfort zones and try something new. Zach was 19 at that time, and Vanessa was a year younger. The movie became an instant classic and a career milestone for young actors who were both almost unknown before. The author, Peter Bossacchini, described the movie as a modern adaptation of Romeo and Juliet. So there was no surprise when on-screen chemistry grew to the real thing. However, it didn't happen at once. Their romance was a slow burn, and it took them two years to make it official. Although millions of fans were rooting for them, the couple split in 2010. The reason for their breakup is unknown, but recently, Vanessa said that it was nothing dramatic and there was no third party involved. She also stated that she doesn't regret anything about that time in her life. Sabrina Carpenter and Corey Fogelmanis. Okay guys, that's a tough one. The two met on the set of Girl Meets World. <laughs> and it was rumored that they were in a relationship. Fans were enthralled as they were shipping for them hard for years. However, Sabrina denied that they were ever a couple and said that they are just friends. It's happening again, sir. 
On the other hand, she's also posted photos of both of them having sleepovers and holding hands. So we think that although they were never officially together, there was something more to their friendship. Again, that's a tough one. Decide yourself what to believe. They're certainly not a couple now, and it's too bad because they look great together. Olivia Rodrigo and Ethan Wacker. If you are a Bizarre Work fan, you know that Ethan's character on the show, Bernie, doesn't have much luck in love. Fortunately, Ethan's real life efforts are way more satisfying. So we don't have any doubts. The Bizarre Work stars, Olivia Rodrigo and Ethan Wacker, were officially dating, and possibly they still are. <gasps> However, that's probably not news for you if you follow them on Instagram, as they were posting a lot of cute pictures together. I should've known! I should've known! <laughs> Ethan also admitted in January that they are a couple, and after that, they shared super sweet posts for their first Valentine's Day. However, we haven't seen them with each other since. And while some breakup rumors are going on, there's nothing confirmed yet, so we keep our fingers crossed for them. <laughs> so, which couple is your favorite? Drop us a line in the comments and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.